Hey, it's Chris Caddo from Putney Breeze Business Advisors, and what we're here to do is we're here to help you create your competitive advantage. Now, in this video, which is part of the series on how to create a mobile app in a number of, in a few hours, what we're going to do is we're going to give you an express tutorial on what an entity relationship diagram is. Now, what this is, this is part of the design process, and it's actually really important, but we're just going to take you over the basics and the fundamentals, just to give you a grasp on the things that you need to think of when, when you're thinking about designing your mobile app or your custom database solution, whichever it may be. So rule number one is to start with the end in mind, and that is understand what you're trying to finish up with, because it is really important, because otherwise you could potentially create a bit of a mess for yourself. Now. You might have a great idea, and what we want to make sure is it doesn't turn into a dog of an idea. And if you don't plan appropriately, the chances of it becoming a dog of an idea becomes higher. So in terms of building a mobile app or creating a, or developing a, a mobile app or a custom database solution or a, or a management information system that you want to plan your sales process or dispatch process, manage your trucks if you like whatever it is that you're trying to do with your custom solution what you really really need to do is think about it as a building project you are literally it is literally a building project and so what you do what does it when you go to build something when you go to build a house what do you actually need first because you can't just turn up with your materials and just build without what a plan and that's not necessarily just a game plan but literally an architectural plan so you need to create your own design and the ERD is part of that the ERD is to understand what you are going to design so that ultimately we've got a house or we've got our solution whether it's a mobile app or a desktop solution or a management information system or a production planning app or whether it's a dispatch app or a uh, a customer relationship app, whatever it might be, that it's built on some great foundations so you can take it forward and integrate it with uh, web services and whatever else you need to integrate it with to make sure that your business has a competitive advantage. Now, what's in the relationship entity diagram? It's really made up of two things. First thing is the entity, and the entity is basically the table, the table of information. So, the thing that you're going to have multiple records of. For example, you might have multiple staff and you want to keep records of your staff. You might have invoices and you're sending out lots of invoices and therefore you want to keep records of your invoices or inventory items, perhaps machinery, production machinery, perhaps literally cars if you've got a fleet of cars or fleet of vehicles that you use or perhaps a type of equipment that you use, a piece of tooling that you use that you have many of that you need to keep a track of in terms of asset management. Now, what's next is the attributes. So of the thing, what are the various characteristics or properties of that thing that you're going to keep uh, that you're going to keep records of? And you're going to have multiple, potentially multiple attributes. So you've got the table, which then has multiple attributes or types of characteristics that you might have to apply or, or keep a, a track of in regards to the thing that you're looking after. So for example, you might have a car, and a car has many colors, which is an attribute. Might be, might, you might have a fleet of cars that have different manufacturers, another attribute. Or it could be one manufacturer, but multiple models. There you go. Or you could have it could have a bit of both. You could have multiple manufacturers and multiple models. It could be engine size. could be wheel size. could be transmission. So just have a think about that. So it's the thing and then the characteristics of things. Because what's that going to make up? That's going to make up entities, a table of information, and the attributes are going to be your fields within the table. So that's the long and short of it. So in our little project here, where I'm going to take you through this series of videos, and we're going to create an app in just a, a few hours, what are we going to do? It's just a simple travel app. We First thing that you need to do, if you're going to build your own app, uh, is to literally write out what the hell it is. What, it is. what is it that you're going to actually build? And we're going to describe it by saying that we're going to build a travel app that keeps records of our trips. And in Australian English, that means holidays. Uh, that lists our itinerary, and our itinerary is made up of days, and stores our photos and our travel documents. When we've described that, what are we looking for? We're looking to pick out what are the nouns in that description, because the nouns are likely to become our entities. 
That is the tables of different information, the tables of things that might have attributes, various attributes, but the table of things that we want to keep a track of. And then you need to think of what's the what's the relationship? Is it which which table has a one to many relationship? Now let me just give you an example of that right now. So I'm going to step in here to Lucid Charts. I use Lucid Charts. There's lots of diagram drawing tools out there, but I use Lucid Charts. So we've just said that we're going to have trips. And in our trips, in any particular trip, you're going to have many days. So we're going to have many days in our trip. And within the itinerary itself is that you might actually have many documents. You might actually have many documents. So within any particular day, you could have an air ticket, or you could have a hotel booking, or you could have insurance, or you could have a, a travel voucher, or a, when I say travel voucher, like a, a coupon for an activity that you've, a tour that you've planned for that particular day. So in any particular day, there could be multiple documents that you need to have, or you want to have. But then, surely, you're going to take loads of photos. So any particular day, you may have loads and loads of photos. So here it is. Here's our real, for our real simple app that we're going to create, we've got a simple ERD here, which is literally, we're going to have trips, which are going to have multiple days, which are our, which makes up our itinerary. And in those days, we're going to have multiple documents. And also within those days, we're likely to take lots and lots of photos. But we want to keep them in an orderly manner so that we can build our little reports, our little travel holiday reports, and we can find information nice and neatly when we need to. So there it is. That's, that is, in effect, our simple ERD. So what we're going to do now is we're going to step into, step into FileMaker itself. So we're going to bring up the Launch Center, and then we're going to step into creating a totally new solution. So this is going to be a blank solution altogether, and we're going to call it My Travel App. And it's going to create for us a brand new solution with absolutely nothing in it. So what do we need to do next? We need to create the tables. We need to create tables. It automatically creates my travel app as one table, but then we need to step in and create the tables and the fields. So what is that? The table is the entity, and the fields are the attributes, and the relationships is going to be how we link that together from a one-to-many perspective. So join me in the next video where I'll take you through that. Now, make sure you, if you've got any questions, make sure you comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn how to build an app with a FileMaker custom, rapid custom application development software. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Now remember, we're helping you create your competitive advantage. See you in the next video. Bye for now.